this is going to be a very competitive men's 400 meter race. Andrew Walcott goes for is a guest competitor right on the inside. The Belgrave Harrier, Sandy Scott for Scotland and Wales. Shane Niemi for Canada, Brad Jamieson of Australia. Australian number one last year. Then Paul McKee for Ireland, belongs to Liverpool Harriers. Michael Parper representing England under 23. Jeff Dearman, who won the Loughborough International meeting recently, he goes in lane seven. And then Jared Deacon, another guest competitor for Jaron Hebben. Steve Cram's old club, or his current club, uh, goes in lane eight. Well, I do think this will be a very competitive race indeed. There's a number of athletes here who will be hoping to make their national teams for the Olympic Games later on this year. And indeed, Paul McKee of Ireland, he's just a shade short of that Olympic qualifying time of 45.8. That's Jeff Dearman, quite a tall figure, right on the outside. Did very well at the Loughborough International meeting recently that we televised. His best time this year, 47.12. Ring number 100 is Jared Deacon, set a personal best performance in the World Student Games last year, where Great Britain won a relay silver medalist. He was ranked fourth in Britain last year. Paul McKee of Ireland. It goes in lane five, and he's got a real chance, if conditions were perhaps a little less blustery here today, to attack the Irish record and get that Olympic qualifying time. There he is. Same club as Steve Smith, the British record holder for the high jump. Third. Away they go first time. And McKee, the Irishman, has got the big, tall, powerful figure of Brad Jamieson of Australia right inside him. But McKee has gone out very, very quickly indeed. Already he's up on the shoulder of Michael Parper. Fit from the right-hand side. Right on the inside, Andrew Walcott, the guest competitor, better known as the sprinter, is having a good first 200 metres. And on the outside, Jared Deacon as well. They've got it all to do now in the last 150 metres. The Australian is coming through, Jamieson. McKee is just in the lead as they head into the home straight. Paul McKee looks very, very strong in actual fact. He's coming away. He's a couple of metres ahead of Brad Jamieson. Paul McKee is running a storming last 100 metres. On the outside, Jared Deacon is coming through as well. But Paul McKee's going to win it. Devon in second place. And third place, rather. Jared Deacon, it was who got second. 46.11. I fear that the strong wind in their faces down the back straight may well have put uh, pay to any chances of an Olympic qualifying time. But that was a very, very good run indeed by Paul McKee Stewart. Yeah, it was. He was totally committed for the first 200 metres and then sustained it from two to three and then hit it down the home straight. As you say, in the back straight, the wind is blustering up to two metres and beyond and uh, it took its toll. And certainly Brad Jamieson, the Australian, paid the penalty for trying to stay with McKee. Uh, McKee. It was a good lane for him, but right on the outside, Jared Deacon, who's uh, worked very hard in that outside lane, ran more evenly over the two 200 meter uh, um, parts of the race, came through for second, as you said, and Jeff Dearman, World Union European Julie uh, Relay medalist, uh, came through into third, and the Australian really faded badly. Uh, back out.